Hello everyone, welcome back to Pixel Village and I am Radha Krishnan. This video is about beauty shots and catch lights. Well, the video is predominantly about how to get beauty shots done very quickly. But to do that, understanding catch light is very important. Now, what is catch light? Catch light is the light reflected in your eye. Well, in fact, it depends on the shape of the light shaping tool that you have used in front of your light. Now, in this case, we are using an Aperture Light Dome 2 in front of Aperture 300 D2. Now, if you look closer in my eye, you can actually see a round shape in my retina. Now, that shape has a certain emotion, a certain feeling, which uh, photographers really worry about. That's also in a way which uh, a photography student can understand how the photographer has lit the shot. Whether he has used a soft box, an octagonal box, or it's daylight or it's a circular light like this. And well, by looking into the eye of the model, you can really understand what the photographers used, what kind of light shaping tool and which position has he used it from. Now, if it's a round light, you will have a round catch light. If it is an octagonal soft box, well, you will have an octagonal catch light. And if you have a soft box, square, rectangular, whichever that you've used, you will see a corresponding catch light in the eye. Now, besides creating a catch light in the eye, the key light also creates a shadow behind the subject. Now, when it comes to beauty shots, the photographer prefers it to be, and also certain clients prefers it to be in a certain way. That is, they would like a circular catch light in the eye and they don't really want any shadow behind. Now, of course, you have Photoshop to your help to knock off the shadows and probably even create an artificial circular catch light in the eye. Well, that definitely is not the right way. In the olden days, uh, well, we all had to use expensive gadgets to create that circular uh, catch light in the eye. And we used to call them ring lights. Those lights used to cost tons of money and used to be a little cumbersome too to work with. Well, not any longer. Now, look into the catch light in my eye. It is formed by the key light, which is using the Aperture Dome 2. Now, look at this. See the difference? That's the ring light. Well, this light is used predominantly for beauty shots. We will see how it's being used, but let me tell you, you don't have to break your bank to buy one of this. And this, is that light. Well, it's called the ring light. Uh, very cost of, hey, I need my specs back. Hey, thank you. It's from Digitech again. Well, they call it the DRL 18H. Very cost effective, like I kept on saying throughout the introduction, uh, a light that will not break your bank. It's about 5,500, I think, MRP. I'm sure it'll be available around three, three and a half thousand uh, Indian rupees on online platforms. I'll add a link in the description for the purchase, but 
this can be used very effectively you don't really require too much of uh, technical understand oops okay technical understanding to work with this light it's got uh, an on off switch it works in mains and it also will work with uh, batteries so what next let's get into a shoot and uh, put this guy into use we have our model getting ready uh welcome manzi back into our studio hi hi guys and uh, today we have a, a professional makeup person helping us in this shoot and that's prachi joshi <laughs> wonderful thank you very much so why don't you guys come here let's try and take some shots so what we're going to do first is to shoot a nice close up of hers using the aperture uh, dome 2 i have my xt3 with a 56 ready and if you notice in this the catch light is visible and it is from the sides besides that you also is getting a shadow now let's try the uh ring light okay can we switch off this light all right so we are set but uh, before we actually start shooting couple of things to remember one this light doesn't have infinite power you must remember that it's about 55 watts so you cannot really compare it with the professional ring lights that are available which i mentioned to you earlier which cost tons of money uh so you must find an optimum distance between uh the subject and the light so as to get your required desired uh, uh aperture correct because the aperture is what is going to create that effect for you in this not so much the shutter speed that's one second the lens of your camera should be placed right at the center of this ring light only then you will get the face perfectly and you will get the ring lights perfectly positioned so that's two things you must remember okay and the third thing yes try and get your model close to the backdrop as possible so that you the backdrop also is bright enough for you now if you keep the model away from the backdrop then you must remember the effect of uh, inverse square law uh, refer to our video that we did uh, some time back so you this will go darker if uh, you keep the model away from the backdrop so these three things you must keep in your mind and uh, let's get into the shoot perfect okay so let's try the next one which is vlogging uh well i think the vloggers who are usually on a budget is going to immensely benefit from the slide because vloggers first thing they don't have too much of technical understanding and they don't really want to because they are beauty vloggers their understanding is in about in beauty so in this case uh, manasi is going to you know stand in as that vlogger and she is going to pretend as if she is doing a beauty vlog let's see how that setup looks like okay now we are set for the you know beauty vlogging setup you know you can use this you can go live with it uh, you can record and you know edit and play it back or upload it to youtube and all that but the setup is as simple as this the uh ring light is on a stand the stand doesn't come with the box you need to buy that separately uh i'm using a fuji xt3 with a 56 mm you can use any camera for this you can use a compact aim and shoot camera you can use a mobile phone there are a couple of uh, you know holders in the uh, light itself using which you can mount the uh, a small camera and uh, start shooting it's as simple as that and just make sure that the distance from the backdrop is just 
enough to keep the sufficient brightness in the backdrop one second make sure that you're using good audio well that's another uh, uh, different uh, video altogether so mansi over to you your first uh, beauty vlog straight into that camera let me go and uh, start the camera and action over to you hello guys this is mansi patwadhan welcome to the channel again and today i am going to show you A cut. Wasn't that easy? I bet it was. Well, it was so easy that uh, our uh, makeup person Prachi decided to get one because her major complaint was that she does high profile weddings and usually in these five stars and these venues, the ambient light is not really conducive for great photography. So she rarely gets to shoot and keep memories or records of those bridal makeup images. Well, now she has decided to get one of those and uh, get some interesting shots. So yes, this is not just for a beauty shots and for uh, vlogging. It can be also used very effectively by, let's say, small time uh, interviews, uh, uh, people on locations trying to get some food shots. Some in yeah, it's very good for shooting uh, macro photography. You know, insects and things like that. It's brilliant. Uh, it'll really give you nice images without any shadows at all. And it's easy to carry. It, Like I said, it also works with battery. So this is one example where uh, technology has made it possible for people to try out new, new things. Well, uh, like I said, uh, this is not really a substitute for those really powerful, expensive ring lights, which are used by professional commercial photographers, fashion photographers, but this is perfect for someone who is on a budget, someone who's starting out, who doesn't have major or serious technical understanding. This is perfect. So what else? Happy shooting, happy vlogging, Happy everything. Bye for now.